This is a surprise. Flanor was unusually warm, but now the ice here is melting. Is it normally much colder here? Yes. This whole area used to be covered in snow and ice. How unusual. It looks like this might be a Celsius's tear. That voice! Isn't that rain? Hi, guys. You're all right. Did something happen? It was terrible when we got to Flanor. No way. All those poor townspeople. This is very strange. Flanor has never opposed the Church of Martel. Rain, is that all you have to say? This is important. Why would Lloyd attack Flanor? Maybe he just wanted to kill more people. No, that doesn't make sense. You fought Lloyd before, but he chose not to kill you. You see what you mean? All the cities attacked up until now had been opposed to the Church of Martel, or at least suspected of it. Come to think of it, why did you two come this way? Oh, right. We discovered something terrible, too. We came to look for the Centurion's core, but... Lloyd got to it first? Not Lloyd. An accessory seller has it. What? We ran into the owner of an accessory shop just as we arrived. He was carrying the Centurion's core. When we asked him to hand it over, he said he couldn't possibly part with such a valuable item. Most unfortunate. That man is in danger. You're right. The core will warp the soul of any normal person who handles it. Affected parties are typically consumed with the desire to destroy everything in sight. He may become violent or even murderous. If that's true, wouldn't that explain Lloyd's attack on Flanor? You mean it's the Centurion's core that's making him act this way? We have to go after Lloyd. Which way was his ray art headed? Um, to the south, I think. South from here. He could be headed for Meltokio. We'll leave Lloyd to you two. The rest of us will go after the Centurion's core. Regal, are you sure? I'm the one who requested to come along, remember? Then that means we'll be parting ways with you two again. You guys will go after the Centurion's core, and we'll go after Lloyd. The odds are good that our paths will cross again soon. Until then, be careful. Right. Well then, farewell. Oh, Rain? About that letter. I read every word. Wait, does that mean that you two are... Thanks, Rigo. Okay, Genus, let's go. Wait, but... Oh, the passion of love. It makes my heart race. Anyway, we should find that accessory shop in town. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he was embarrassed. How cute. Emil, if you wrote me a letter, I'd read every word of it, too. Oops, I'm not supposed to say things like that, right? S sorry. No, it's fine. Jealous. Why is that, Marta? I was just thinking what it would be like to be in a mature relationship like Regal and Rain. I mean, it's so exciting. A mature relationship? You mean like having meddling in-laws? Being so poor you have to share a tiny piece of bread between the two of you? Huddling under a single blanket to ward off the cold at night? Ugh, that's so romantic! I was trying to be funny. Cold. Yes, though it's much warmer here than it was before. It's hard to believe things like this happen just because Ratatosk is asleep. Lord Ratatosk brought us, the Centurions, together to command the monsters and restore balance to the mana flow. It's the only way to maintain stability in a world where mana didn't originally exist. What do you mean by that? Isn't mana the source of all life? According to Lord Ratatosk, initially this world was without mana, as the mana from the comet Deris Karlon accumulated here. The giant Karlon tree took root and forever changed the environment of this world. How long ago did that happen? Let's see, about 10,000 years ago at the very least. That long ago, that boggles the mind to think about it.
something I can help you with? Um, yes. We heard the owner of this shop brought back a strange jewel with him. Oh, that. My son couldn't find any buyers for it, so he figured he might as well dump it back where he found it. We must have just missed him. Let's hurry after him! Excuse me, what happened to the previous owner of this shop? Hmm? I've always been the owner here. Perhaps you're mistaken. Really? Rico, let's get going! Right. again? I know. If we just hung out there a bit, we might have caught the accessory shop owner in the first place. This sort of inconvenience is not uncommon. Anyway, I'm afraid we don't have much choice. It just seems like a waste of time. Hopefully we'll get an option to just quick jump there. Quick jump? Ah, oh, never mind. Didn't Rain say something about Celsius's tear? I've heard of them. Isn't it some type of rare ice flower? That's right. It has the power to freeze what's around it. Then, is this one of them? Ouch! Are you all right? Yes. Be careful. They say if you touch Celsius's tear with your bare hands, you'll get frostbite. Seriously? You could have said something before. But I heard that Celsius's tear is the size of normal flowers. There's no way I could lift this. Perhaps a dormant centurion's core is affecting its environment and causing it to grow at an accelerated rate. This thing is way too big. Which means Glaucius's core should be somewhere in the vicinity. Assuming that shop owner really brought it back. Perhaps my senses are deceiving me, but I thought I detected the presence of Solum's core. Solum? That's the Centurion of Earth, right? Isn't that a little weird? This is the Temple of Ice. Yes, indeed. I suppose it's just my imagination. I believe it might be time to prepare a meal. Whoa! Is that your own personal cooking knife? Yes. And you just carry it around with you? Don't laugh, but cooking is a bit of a hobby for me. I wouldn't laugh. I think it's attractive for a man to know his way around a kitchen. Thank you. However, carrying a cooking knife does come with its own problems. Like what? Well, for example, occasionally being mistaken for a criminal. I've been imprisoned numerous times because of it. For such a perfect gentleman. You sure seem to wind up in jail a lot. left inside here. You're right. It's kind of chilly. 
This is where Celsius used to be, right? Well, perhaps it would be more accurate to say this is where she was imprisoned. Oh, really? But why? Apparently, it was in order to split the world in two, though it's a bit of a moot point now. That's right. The world was divided into two. What's wrong, Emil? You look like you're in pain. No, it's nothing. I just felt like I remembered something important. You remembered something? Maybe something to do with the Centurion's cores? I wonder what it was. Well, if it really was important, I'm sure it'll come to me eventually.
your prayers. weapon. That has nothing to do with me.
guess you want to die. Oh, healing power. Not again. Work. It's over. Triple kick. White wolf. Too easy. So, Celsius was here, but now she isn't? I'm not sure. A friend of mine is a summoner who once made a pact with Celsius, and the summon spirit hasn't been seen here since. So that means Celsius is still with that summoner? That is the most likely explanation. However, summon spirits, unlike humans, are not physical entities. So I imagine they don't exactly stay with summoners in the strictest sense. Do centurions have much in common with summon spirits? More so than we do with humans. As I am not a spirit myself, it's difficult to say exactly. Summon spirits? Hmm. I would have liked to see Celsius, or any of the other summon spirits. Celsius's tear reaches even here. It's possible that these flowers wrap around the entire temple. What's this? Something that was used during the world regeneration. I wonder if it still works. Oh, you came here before? With Lloyd? Yes, with Lloyd. I still can't understand why Lloyd won't explain his actions to us. Maybe he really has been affected by the dormant Centurion's core. If I were Lloyd, I'd never do anything to hurt the people who cared about me. Emil. He has so many friends who believe in him, but he doesn't care. How could he? Glacius's core isn't here. That 
That's weird. Maybe the shop owner isn't here yet. Yeah, if Lloyd had it, you'd probably see one of his weird posters around. Something's coming. Be careful. What is that? It's an ice elemental monster, a murka. It must have come here to escape the harsh climate outside. It seems to be extremely aggressive. <sighs> We're trapped. They must have been accidentally imprisoned in the altar. They're mad with hunger. Here it comes! Oh, my God. 